My name is Shahida Sinclair and I'm an award-winning musician, so you might know me as Nova or Nova Scotia The Truth. I'm here at Kelvin Go Gallery to have a chat with Frances McGurn as a part of GI and to talk to her about her exhibition and the themes that are included in her work. I used to do something in this like crazy museum <laughs> because I used to come here so much as a wee girl and stuff like that so and I bring my own kid here. I find like the kind of close proximity between the, the figures quite interesting considering you know your social distancing. I think that's something like I've missed so much from lockdown in relation to like just apart from missing everything personally like yeah. in relation to my work it's like that my work's all about like being in a crowd, just the feeling of being around in lots of different bodies and like that kind of thing. So when it was locked down, I was a bit like, I'm actually losing, like things were becoming more self interested and I'm not that interested in that. Do you know what I mean? I was wanting to make it like sort of spell out a bit more. So this went out like, I mean, when they asked me, I was like, maybe this, the like transparency, at least people can be going behind it and like you could see your pal behind it and you yeah. can feel like you're in a space with lots of people like kind of feel that rhythm or that energy and I really in the kind of most opposite environment like in a museum that's completely still. How does it feel to have uh, your art exhibited in a place that you used to visit as a child? It's good like it's quite nice to have, like my family are coming around or like my nieces and nephews and it's up for a long time so quite meaningful, like it does feel nice to have something close to home. It's, and I always find it much more daunting to make stuff for people that I know, rather than art yeah. people, do you know what I mean? So it feels a bit like that, it feels like painting something for like my dad's living room or something yeah. where I like, I'm, it's, it's not quick, it's not like transient, it's like there, you know. This has got a weird time zone for me. Like to me, when I was wee, I just never understood it. It felt really surreal, like, what are they doing there? Yeah. Is it night, is it day? Are they trapped? Like, what, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I just felt really like, oh, I could just never figure out what these women were up to. One of the common themes in your work, and it's something that I've included in my work as a musician, is about uh, night clubbing and social life at night. What is it about that? that fascinates you? Like historically paintings were like, there's the muse, here's the painter, and you're the audience, and there's like this triangle. And I think I like the approach of like a club, like you're around somebody, like I, I could be dancing with you and I, I wouldn't remember exactly how you were dancing or when I was dancing or what song necessarily, but I would remember the feeling of being beside you. That's what I feel like my paintings are like, like they're, they're about being around people in a kind of like almost abstract way rather than being like I'm going to paint a picture of that night. Everything that you do in your day or where you party, where you have commerce, where you have friends is a way of making work. 